A number six of beer drinking pony is the mayor of a town in southwestern England. Patrick is a miniature Shetland pony. He likes to hang out at the local pub and sip on Guinness. His owner began taking him there a few years ago to help him socialize as a therapy pony. He travels to hospitals, schools, mental wards, and recovery centers, and the locals love him. They wanted to reward him for helping so many people, so they made him huh. mayor. It's all fun and games until you need some potholes oh, filled. Yeah. Or, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> right. you know? right. All right, number five, people are making tens of thousands of dollars a year off of Listerine. It dates back, it dates back to 1881 when it was agreed that shareholders would make a flat fee on each gross of Listerine sold worldwide. So for every 400 bottles of Listerine sold, they'll make six bucks. So let's put that into perspective. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie is a shareholder. In 2015, he earned $24,000 in Listerine royalties. According to reports, Listerine pays out around $24 million a year in royalties. Mm. Oh, I don't quite no. understand that. But there's... You want to work problems. through it? We can work no. through it right now. It would take way too long. Yeah. yeah. Uh, number four, so I don't know if you guys saw this, but Selena Gomez got a haircut. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, look at it. And guess what? Oh, now everybody it. wants it. Yeah. Uh, I'm talking, of course, about the curly bob. Yeah, look at it. It's also the name of a guy I knew in college. <laughs> uh, it's easier to do if you've got natural curl or wave to your hair. Sure. But here's the thing, and this is what you got to be, make sure you do, is to ask for a face framing cut. Yep. Okay, you don't want to let your hairdresser use thinning scissors either because that's going to create frizz and that is a disaster. Yep. Uh, and thinning your curls or your waves are going to make them less defined. I know that's a lot to, yep. yeah. to keep track of what yep. I just said. We're going to put all that on the website, WGNTV.com, so you go there for your step-by-step yeah. -step But I'm going to warn you, it looks like a carefree, easy haircut, but yeah. am I right, Sarah? That takes a lot of... A lot of curling with the iron. Yeah. That she's not just waking up like that. Yeah. That's wait, a wait, wait, wait. Thank you. Yeah. What takes, do you think? Beauty costs nothing. It, it requires I'm just work saying, and effort. It looks carefree. Yeah. But yeah. don't think it's a wake up like this look. Right. That took a lot of work. Right. You should see what I look like when I come in here. Oh. Yeah. The amount of prep Two work bucks. we have to yeah. do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it helps generally About if you're pretty. About four bucks now. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right, number three, uh, because it's Tuesday, let's just take a minute to go back in time and appreciate the timeless beauty of Audrey Hepburn. Some of the earliest photos date back to Hepburn, uh, Hepburn's uh, early on in her career when she was starring in Gigi on Broadway mm. and before she made her big screen debut in Roman Holiday. Mm, this is fun. Yeah, look at that. Look at the whimsy. Oh, my Lord. Not enough women wearing gloves these days. Yep, you say that all the time, Patrick, and you're right. Mm. All righty, Lair. Number two, a woman in Australia took out a full-page newspaper ad to expose her husband after she caught him cheating. It says, Dear Steve, I hope you're happy with her. Now the whole town will know what a filthy cheater you are from Jenny. P.S. I bought this ad using your credit card. It was published in Friday's edition, which is read by 50,000 people. The newspaper did not use last names to protect Jenny and Steve's identity. Yeah. Though Jenny has quite an online fan club for me. <laughs> There's a lot of Steves out there. Being yeah. like, it wasn't me, yeah. guys. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, number one. Uh, here's one from the Am I the Jerk Forum on Reddit. All right. A stepdad wants to charge his eight-year-old son rent. He says it's never too early to teach the boy about money management. The boy gets $25 a week for helping around the house. The stepdad wants to charge him $20 a month. He'd be left with 80 bucks a month to buy what he wants. What? The child's mom disagrees. She says, absolutely not. A Reddit forum chimed in, most sided with mom, saying there are better ways to teach a child about finances. Uh, 
Well, I, I don't think know the, the bigger... name of the stepdad, but if he was yeah. one, I would say yeah. it was Paul Conrad. <laughs> <laughs> no, be, I guess. it's not because Paul Conrad's not paying his kids twenty-five That's bucks right. a month yeah. to do that, chores that, is that one. they should be doing anyway. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, tw what is an eight-year-old getting twenty-five dollars a month? Uh, was it a, a week? A week. A week, uh, a week is a lot. What, what yeah. are they that's doing? They're that's, not scrubbing toilets. That's where the wheels are off. Did you, get, did you okay. get an allowance as a kid? No. no. Did you get any did. kind of allowance? No. I was allowed to continue yeah. living in my <laughs> yeah. Yeah. apartment. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Not even like, like, I think I got three bucks a week or so. Something yeah. my baseball. What if I bucks a week? And what are they? They don't even know They're what to do with earning that. that yeah. Plus, I couldn't balance my checkbook when I was 25. This yeah. eight-year-old's got to yeah. do yeah. this kind of math. Yeah, come on. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Uh. All right. Stop trying to teach your children things. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the moral of the story. <laughs> here. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, huh. that is the uh, six at six. Quick look.